Hey Rollers, welcome to How Inez Rolls. It's a little gloomy outside, so I thought I could bring in some extra fun by making some yummy dessert for the family. Let's get started. We are getting into cookie season with with Christmas right around the corner. So I thought I would show and share with you today um, a very easy Christmas recipe. It's a sugar cookie recipe. There's some uh, cookie shop that's in Utah called Swig. And so this is a copycat version of the Swig Christmas cookie. And I saw it from um, A Bountiful Kitchen and she has wonderful recipes. So if you are not familiar with A Bountiful Kitchen, just Google her name and you'll go to right to her website and she has amazing recipes. So this is, a, it's gonna have some peppermint in there and it's a sugar cookie. Those two things sound delicious. So let's get started. So we're gonna need two, um, okay, so I'm doubling the recipe. So I'm using two sticks of butter. And this is salted, so the recipe calls for unsalted. So one stick of butter has a third of a teaspoon of, of salt in it. So you just have to deduct that from the salt. You're doing some math, friends. So just deduct that salt from the, the recipes. So here's some oil, some sour cream, sugar, flour, vanilla, baking powder, salt, and here it is the peppermint crunch baking chips. So um, it calls for a cup for one, um, for, the part of, for the recipe, but if you're doubling it, just to use the whole bag. So I don't really see another use for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and double the recipe. Maybe these can be some of the cookies that we give to neighbors and friends. If they can last that long. I already had my son laughing in the background to that sentiment of sharing. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> we'll see if they last that long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually bust out the KitchenAid mixer. I don't normally like using it, but because I've been baking more often, I have just left it on the counter. So it's just easy go-to. So we're gonna put the butter in the oil and, and the sour cream and mix that together first. So while that is mixing for about a minute, it doesn't take very long, I'm gonna be putting dry ingredients in a bigger bowl because I've made plenty of bread in here and when it gets to about eight cups of stuff, it like gets crazy. So it looks like I'll be using the hand mixer after all, which is not a big deal. So what I'm gonna do is put in, because I'm doubling the recipe, nine cups of flour. <laughs> We're gonna be having a lot of sugar cookies. So let me get that all in there. Plus I'm gonna be adding some baking powder and some more salt. But other than that, we got this. So I do have my dry ingredients now in the big bowl. So now I'm just gonna add some sugar and vanilla. I just whip that up, so easy. So it will only take about a cup and a half, but because I'm doubling it, three. And then as for vanilla, it's going to take two teaspoons. And so I'll be putting four and probably a little oops. I, if you're new to my channel, I love vanilla, especially this vanilla. This is Mexican vanilla. The company is globalgoods.com. It is such a reasonably priced vanilla. There's the oops. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get that blended and then we're gonna have the meat. So this mixture part looks and kind of smells like vanilla yogurt. So we're just going to mix these in and I'm gonna add the chips as well, all together, all at the same time. And then we're just gonna blend until there's no more flour or a floury mix, I guess, because there's baking, so baking powder in there and some salt. Well, I hope everybody likes these ones because uh, there's gonna be plenty of them. <laughs> So these peppermint chips are so cute. They are shades of pink. They are so cute. So I am a huge fan of mint around Christmas. Let me know if you're one of those persons too. I actually can eat mint all year long, but oh, it just seems like Christmas when it's minty. So, oh, these are gonna be so good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, I mixed it until I couldn't see any more flour. And I'm just gonna kind of make it into a ball, just kind of press it into each other. 
And um, what I'm gonna do right now is just cover this up and put it in the fridge because we have a get together with friends at the park for Ezra. So we're gonna go do that for lunch. And then after that, I will cook some more. So let's see, this is smelling so good already. Maybe I'll take a little taste. I know I probably shouldn't. That is so good. Okay, so this doesn't have any egg in it. I realized that, so I could just shovel it in, right? <laughs> All right, let me get some saran wrap on that, put it in the fridge, and I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back. I just pulled this out of the refrigerator, and so we're gonna get started. So I have some parchment paper here on my cookie sheet, and what we're gonna do is going to create two inch balls so they're going to be like golf size so when you think about what how big they want to, you want them to be sweet cookies tend to be a little bit on the bigger side so two inch golf ball size rolled perfect so we're going to get that going and then i want to show you some other little tips Okay, so I have my, I have eight here. Yeah, eight, just had to make sure. So I wanna have, these are gonna be thicker cookies too, so, but we do need to flatten them. So I want to show you what I'm gonna use. So I have this vase I got from the Dollar Tree and it has a nice flat bottom. So you can see I have sugar on there. So you just spray some cooking spray, put sugar on it and then start flattening them. And then you dip it back into a plate of sugar, which I have here and uh, just do it before each one and then those will fall right off. So let me tell you another secret. So whenever I make my sugar cookies, I have a different recipe, I use this side. So that is the big sugar cookies that I make for family and friends. And this dollar store vase is exactly the perfect size for them. So I'm gonna bring you closer and I'm gonna show you how these look when we flatten them a little bit. All right, so I have this dipped in and then you're just going to press so easy. And then it should come pretty much come off. Oh yeah, there it is. And then that's it, you guys. See how it has like a, a jagged edge around? That is so Swig Signature on their cookies. So they are a little on the rustic side, but they are adorable and also delicious. So you can see that there is some jaggedness to that and I love them for that. So it makes it, um, you don't have to make them so perfect. So, ta-da, look at that. So we're gonna get these going into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes and that's on a convection. If you're gonna do um, a regular bake, it's going to be a little bit longer, just kind of watch it. So um, let's get these in. These just came out after 12 minutes. You can see they're lightly golden brown. So I'm gonna take them off the pan and put them into the refrigerator to get a complete cool. So let me find a dish or some kind of flat plate that's kind of bigger to put them on. And then that way, the faster they cool, the faster we can frost them. So I just finished with all of these cookies. It made 64. Let me show you up close what they look like. This is a perfect recipe to do because it is rustic. Like you don't have to have perfect circles and the more crinkly the sides, the better. That is such a swig trademark. So now we need to make some frosting. So I have a stick of butter in here. I put a couple of dashes, a little sh couple shakes of salt, two tablespoons of uh, sour cream and four cups of powdered sugar. So now I'm just going to add um, some vanilla, just a teaspoon, uh, maybe an oops, <laughs> little oops. And then we're just gonna blend that, but I'm also gonna add some food coloring to it. So I'm gonna bring you closer. Okay, it's pretty thick. So I'm going to add a couple of drops now of red food coloring. And I'm going to add a splash of milk just to thin it out a little bit. Look at how pink it is. It's so cute. So now we need to start putting it 
on a cookie. Oh yes. Yeah. So now when they're completely cool, you get to frost them. You know what we have to do next now, right? Well, now we have to try it. Yes. Mm. That's good. Does it taste like swig? A little bit? Better. Oh, better. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oops. What does that mean? Oops. Because you oops the vanilla. Oh, oops the vanilla. So those cookies were super delicious. I am gonna link the recipe below. You can try for the holidays, maybe for some neighbor gifts, maybe for some family fun and making memories. So have a wonderful day, Rollers. I'm so grateful for you. Stick around, because you just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone. And let me know if you wanna see more cookie recipes.